Gentile. Father, Christianity does not teach people to rob people, kill people, harm people, and Buddhism is the same. So why are there so many murderers who kill and then kill people? God never taught those things. And there is no religion that teaches people to do bad things. So why do parents force their children to do bad things? Deep in the small road is a religious village that has existed ever since, among the trees, is a church on the roof with a towering cross. I don't know when the church was built, the back of the wall turned mossy and full of old traces over the years. The people around are all Catholic, on Sundays the church is crowded with people going to Mass, unlike usual days, it is empty, only the evening bells are ringing, slowly pouring into the quiet space. A few people gathered to read the Bible. The day Ben moved here to live, he felt like a stranger, because the whole neighborhood, but only he was a Buddhist, and gradually got used to the image of church bells, Bible texts, etc., and some people dress very politely to go to church on Sundays, different from before and find it strange in the amazement of a religion, also thanks to coming here and knowing a girlfriend named Chi, he is also knowledgeable about Christian activities. Chi's house is behind the church, he has known Chi and has feelings for one year, although the time of knowing each other is not long, but Chi also shared about everything about his religion. To let Ben know more, at first when he contacted Chi, he found that he did not get along at all, Chi always said the teachings of God, and the sentence Amen always uttered when he was about to mention any issue, then get used to it, then into friendship, then into love, and the desire to step into a smooth future as planned by the two people from the moment of love. She thinks that God has given her an existing future husband, Ben thinks that this marriage is a predestined relationship, and it is the responsibility of both of them to hold firmly. In the afternoons, she often takes him to the front of the church and always tells him stories of God's love for humanity, but he is not impressed, just considers this as a dating place for two people. Person, is also the place where by chance he met Chi and fell in love until now. That day he came home from work, drove a motorbike across the church, kept looking inside to see some people coming back from mass, didn't pay attention to the front, so he accidentally hit Chi and fell, the fall was very strong. He had a scratch on his elbow, blood oozing out of his pure white shirt, he panicked and stopped the car and helped Chi get up with an apologetic face. Are you okay, I'm sorry. You driver must look around, fortunately for God's help, otherwise, I don't know what happened to me, thank God, amen. Oh God, help her. I just helped her up. If you believe in God, you will see God. Your hand is bleeding, or should I take you to the hospital so they can see the wound? Do not need. I told God to protect me, so the scratches weren't too severe. I'm very sorry. She turned his back to blend in with the crowd and then disappeared. Ben still watched with eyes of self-blame, he shook his head and slurred, luckily, I ran into people in the religion, if it wasn't for people in the religion, they wouldn't be so easy to ignore, like this case, thought again. There is also good luck and bad luck. Ben went to his motorbike, drove away from the church gate, which was crowded with people walking. Ben came home, feeling relieved in his body, just remembering the scene when the driver didn't pay attention and hit someone, he felt very guilty, I don't know what's wrong with her. If they made a big deal at that time, he wouldn't know how to handle it, fortunately they ignored the responsibility. While thinking aimlessly about the unfortunate incident that happened in the afternoon, the surroundings suddenly sank into darkness, there were no lights as bright as just now, the surroundings seemed to sink into another world full of gloom and confusion. Loneliness is covering the religious village, this place rarely loses power. Light is the future, is a certain belief that is radiant, like the human subconscious always needs light, in order to live, see the ray of hope and know that life has many colors and meanings in each of us. If one day the sun is no more, human life will be like hell, tasteless, the eyes, even if they try to open them, are no different from being in a closed state. Ben always had such a concept, didn't like the dark at all, he took the car out to buy some candles to light temporarily, to erase a part of the darkness around him. He stopped at a grocery store not far from where he lived, 
looked around the house and lit a few candles that looked like the lanterns that he often saw in the seasons of filial piety in the home river. Sister, sell me two candles. Yeah, wait a minute. The shop owner was struggling to find, turned to ask. I ran out of small candles, can I still have a big one? Ben looked at his mistress's face through the burning candle, he recognized it immediately. It was the girl who was hit by his car in the afternoon, her arm still covered with white cotton gauze. Yes, help me. For him. Uh, why is it you? I recognize you, I'm sorry about the incident in the afternoon. But didn't I say this afternoon, God has extended his hand to save me. No matter what God or Buddha saves, it's my fault. So sorry. But I didn't expect you to be here, I'm close by. Did you just come here to live? You look very strange, I haven't seen him yet. Because of this religious neighborhood, I know a lot. Yes, I was out there before, but now come here to be quiet. Are you a religious person, because everyone here is like that? No, I'm Buddhist. Oh, I forgot to talk about it, I'll pay for the candles. There are only two candles that you give two high denomination money, stop coming here to buy and give them away. Yes, next time I buy it, I will pay it back. I apologize for my carelessness this afternoon. I'm leaving. Ben took two candles to the car, suddenly the electricity came back, the lights were bright as usual, looked at the candle and shook his head, maybe it's most useless now, just bring it back and leave it there when when the power goes out, take it out and use it. Ben turned to look at his mistress and left quickly. From then on, every time they met, they smiled to say hello. Since then, Ben has joined a volunteer group, often going to help those in need, and in his spare time, he goes to the temple far away to do meritorious deeds. Although the two follow different religions, their personalities are very harmonious, and when talking, there seems to be no barrier to dividing their beliefs. Since then, Ben has fallen in love with this place, he wants to return everywhere he goes, and he doesn't want to move anywhere else. Remembering the sound of church bells ringing in the afternoons, remembering the small road, and always remembering my room, there was the warmth of the smell of nostalgia, the smell of nostalgia was cheese shadow and echo, a sweet taste too sweet have strung together the days together for more than two years. The day Ben brought Chi home to meet his family in his hometown. Relatives were quite satisfied, a girl with a lovely face, gentle personality, and good at everything, all wanted the two of them to get married soon to have children. Have grandchildren, carry with people, compared to the age of 30, they are too late for some people. Love inherently does not distinguish anything in this world, although saying that, the truth is always contrary to what they say, and in the process, they always believe in their sincere feelings for them. Each other, emotions will embolden and break all the rules created by people creating a barrier, that barrier will crumble into rubble, they use as building material into a solid and beautiful happiness forever. Later, it is the desire of the lover when forbidden. But life is not as smooth as people would like, Chi's family is also among them. Vigorously opposed to Ben, for the simple reason that Ben was an outsider, or married, he had to give up the religion he was following. Otherwise, they will marry people of the same religion. She sat sadly in the church bench, feeling that her heart was empty like a yard without anyone, the leaves falling in the late autumn afternoon rustling, why didn't her own feelings fall like the leaves outside? Every time I think about myself, short and long tears silently fall under the statue of Mary. She believes in God, but not believing in God prevents humanity's love and there is no God who wants to see humans sink into the depths of suffering, it's all because of humans making that rule. She went back quietly, the evening shadow gradually disappeared in the distance of the trees, leaving only the wind blowing the leaves away. Since the day Chi's family refused, Ben closed the door quietly in the house, no longer greeted with a happy smile every time Chi returned from the ceremony. Chi also understands that Ben is very sad, and she is like that, who can never be happy when in love. Since then, Chi has lost a lot of weight due to many sleepless nights, the thought that emerges makes the eye contour dark circles. Only love is true, with all her heart, she once thanked God for giving her the person she had expected for a long time, 
so why didn't God give them a lifetime together, instead creating out full of contradictions? Thinking about tears again soaked her pillow, she has an intention, if her family keeps separating her love because of religion, she will go far away to prove that nothing can stop a true love. Wall. She asked Chi's son to come down to eat, come home from worship, and stay in the room forever. I called the throat, but it refused to come down, but this child is also weird, this man and boy in this world lacks nothing, it doesn't have to be Ben. I can see that Ben is fine, but unfortunately he is Buddhist, but if he follows God like me, I will accept it. Actually, when I went to Mass, I asked my father, he said that any religion is fine, as long as people are faithful to each other, love each other, do not lie, which religion is not important. Also by you, the person who refused at first was also him, now the one who says in is also him. Oh, I'm so tired. When she heard that, he opened the door to ask his parents. Father, Christianity does not teach people to rob people, kill people, harm people, and Buddhism is the same. So why are there so many murderers who kill and then kill people? God never taught those things. And there is no religion that teaches people to do bad things. So why do parents force their children to do bad things? He looked at his wife and then at Chi with a confused question, parents force their children to do bad things. Adultery hurts others, not called bad, what is it called? But you must understand that Ben is an outsider. What about pagans, are bad guys, or pagans don't have the right to get married? It's not bad, but it will be very difficult to live later, if it leaves the religion, it's too easy. Dear parents, religion is a human's belief. With a good heart, any religion is good, an evil mind, even if there is a Catholic religion, it's the same. Every religion teaches people to do good, this is right. Chi went into the room and closed the door, the two of them could only look at each other, Chi's words were similar to father's words in the church, maybe their concept of religion was wrong. That night, she lay watching TV, seeing that the content of a movie was similar to her son's pagan love, but the ending was very beautiful, the two main characters were together for life. She shed two lines of tears, this tear is not because the film has many touching details, it is simply the days her children go through as painful as the female character. She turned off the television and went into the room to see him. Sat there looking up at the cross with a sad face. It's late, why don't you go to sleep? But he looks so sad. To tell the truth, at first I wanted her chi to get married soon, but when she was about to have one, I stopped her. I also just watched a movie, I also feel similar to my son Chi, which Father Dao said is also true, marriage is caused by people, not by God or Buddha at all. The two of them have known each other for a long time, Bin's family also accepted, some of them just took the religion out, but I accidentally made a mistake. Because doing so with Bin's family is also sad, Christianity is spreading arms, God's great love. What do you think now? I'm counting on it to come together. Tomorrow she asked him to tell Ben to bring his parents here to visit, to calculate the story of the two of them. I'm sure the two of them are very happy to hear this news. I don't know why, I feel so light. Early in the morning, Chi was still sleeping, heard her mother call and said, suddenly woke up completely, Chi ran to tell Ben the news, both were as happy as Tet, they waited too long, and finally got what they wanted. True love will overcome all, it is just a test of human perseverance, and in this world there is no sect that separates the love of the couple. That afternoon, the sky was dyed red by the rows of trees, the birds flew from the roof of the church to the high cross, Sunday afternoon was so peaceful and magical, unlike previous Sundays, hearing the bells seemed to echo from the sky. My heart is full of sadness, because the love is being separated, but now how wonderful is that bird's voice. It just echoes slowly into the soul and then pours into the sky, like calling someone's name, it's like a nostalgia and on-time appointments. The church bell rang long. Ben smiled and took Chi's hand.